Speed News, Fast and Furious for Insta Follower. Good afternoon, Bob from BBD, Bobby Broadcast, Delhi. Spin and more spin everywhere. Democracy being redefined. Let's see what I thought was of very interesting news today. Uh, was prepared for strike after Galwan, China can't get the better of us, IAF chief. What is important is that it's not the army chief, it's the IAF chief, which clearly sends a message to China, we are going to use our advantage, which is in the air. Uh, in another newspaper, China can't get better of India in any conflict, IAF, absolutely right, the citizens of India must believe that. Then you have uh, an article, modern PLA barracks, Heavy artillery at LSE, Chinese, China media. State media report says the facilities highlight preparations for war. Propaganda. Chinese propaganda, just like this one. Again in Global Times, another mouthpiece for Xi. China threatens to make New India Tunnel unserviceable days after its inauguration by PM Modi. Are they for real? We can make their entire uh, uh, railway lines and roads from mainland uh, uh, China to TAR unviable with one strike. Let those people of China know that and this Global Times. Yeah, it's funny. Global Times is really fun. Right? But like I said, democracy under threat. The first one, CBI raids premises linked to Congress's DK Shiva Kumar Series 57. Right? But right, this kind of, it's amazing how in the last year you've seen that every time there is some state election or by-election, somebody from the opposition gets nailed by the CBI, by the ED, and of no use. Another thing that was extremely disconcerting that I read today, an article by KTS Tulsi and uh, Tanisa, uh, Tanisa Puri, were crucial minutes of TV footage during passage of the farm bill as well as the Rajya Sabha rules book, rule book muted. It says, those who had access to the live proceedings had no doubt that the disorder was a result of the refusal to conduct division. The disorder they Therefore, could not be the reason for refusal. The second, and what it says is, this leaves many open questions. First, about the interests of the government in passing these bills, and second, towards their obtrusively anti farmer content, which seeks to hide behind the rush time frame of such parliament conduct. The real reason is one, it has some elements that are anti farmer. The second is, Federalism is at stake, just as Yamini Ayurad, where reforms and federalism clash. The center's attempt to bulldoze the states on agriculture weakens the entire reform process. Hathras, usual 1960s, 70s, foreign hand. Conspiracy says CM. Police files 21 FIRs across UP, 6 in Hathras. Sedition charges on Neta reporter in Hathras case. Outfit, outfit using foreign funds to stroke, uh, to stoke trouble, derail UP's development. See, what, what development when you have this? And as somebody wrote, uh, parallel state of polar, uh, polarization. How did we reduce ourselves to being mere Hindus and Muslims? Makes a very important point here. All Indians, including Muslims, want education, jobs, affordable housing, health services, and opportunity to flourish. Everybody wants safety and security to live move freely. Everybody wants to enjoy individual freedoms without worrying about politics over places of worship. Nobody wants public discourse to be dominated by religious issues at the cost of real issues affecting people. Important. This is what is destroying democracy. On fast front, Norway's one trillion fund chief walks tightrope. Where is India? Is India part of this? his, his vision? Who are we a turning point? The Trump administration has had some success convincing allies to, to, to exclude who are, we, who are we about the 5G networks, but Germany has been the most significant, will address this. It's good news that the burden soon will address the security risk posed by the Chinese telecom. Finally, German, Germany has flipped. Huawei is providing great opportunity for Samsung. Samsung mounts offensive for 5G networks. TikTok India was right, ex, uh, uh, article in Financial Times, ex-Chinese diplomat controlled TikTok content, uh, content, delays in panel supplies from China seen to hit 500 megawatt solar rooftop projects, let's change the sourcing, let's slightly more expensive, get to, uh, to Korea, get to uh, 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 Germany, get to the United States, Sudan, rebel leaders 
formalized peace deal. Watch this out. This is the first front runner for a for a peace deal with 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 uh, Israel. Then you have Dubai's bright lights beckon Israelis Arabs, but pose a quandary. Arabs, Israeli Arabs, going down into uh, into into uh, UAE to to fuel their their tech sector. Important. Then the real confusion that's happening in the Caucasus. Armenian forces bomb Azerbaijan. Second city, Armenia seeks Trump's help as Turkey joins conflict in Azerbaijan. A very confusing issue here. Armenia is asking the United States, why is Turkey using F-16 supplied by them against a Christian nation like Armenia? Azerbaijan, on the other hand, is supported by oil, oil majors because it's the major confluence of oil, gas, and oil pipelines. Turkey wants those pipelines to flow from there to the eastern Mediterranean so that Turkey can pull itself out of this, out of its morasses. Oil, always a problem. More after the break. Driving force of the nation, now driving Max Plus Logistics. Unparalleled discipline, exceptional work ethic and diligence combined with mental and physical agility to meet any challenges. Moving forward on the right path in the face of physical stress and adversity. Max Plus Logistics. Wait till the end for some more information. Welcome back on the US elections. Confusion on Trump's illness. Is, was he actually here? Was he not actually? Was it a play act? Was it not a play act? What are the spin masters going to say after this? But here are some points that you need to know about what's happening. It says rightly, uh, Trump campaign attempt at a reset slams into roadblocks. The past seven days have dealt the incumbent one setback after the another. The extraordinary revelation in the New York Times that he had paid little or to no federal income tax in recent years. A belligerent debate performance that risked turning off many voters. The arrest of his recently demoted campaign manager in Florida. And finally, the president's hospitalization for COVID-19 because of an outbreak of novel coronavirus in the White House that has made a mockery of public health guidances. Of offered a contradictory account of Trump's health. All the while, Biden's sizable financial advantage has allowed the Democrats to dominate the television airwaves and some recent polls show his lead over Trump holding steady for the or even growing. Trump's campaign turning around attempt hits huge setback. Trump forced off stage at crucial point. One month out, Corona hits Trump's election campaign, faces big challenge. Confusion around Trump's infection. When did Mr. Trump test positive? How severe is Mr. Trump's illness? How has Dr. Conley added to confusion? Who else, who else has contacted the disease? Pence has stepped in and the center. So the, the debate today between him uh, and, and Kamala Harris is going to take center stage. More importantly, while, while bravado and brash attitude of, the, of, the, of Trump is countered by Biden who, uh, Biden, who puts empathy at center of his campaign. There's another report that says in Biden's home state, GOP centrism is overtaken by French. And as a result of this, a, a QAnon candidate reflects a party slight. Now, that's also happening. What's happening in, in Delaware is also happening in, in, in uh, Massachusetts as mass. GOP fights for backing and relevance. Divided between Baker and Trump, party tries to avoid sli sliding into triviality. That's where it's headed. While that's happening, a group of evangel evangelical leaders forms in support of Biden. Trump losing that support. The and there's another report. The judge who in death may be Trump's nemesis, probably. Then we have Biden and Trump compete for working class voters in Minnesota. And Michigan figures to be micro cause of national margin. And let's see what Michigan is. Michigan, folks, is 16, 16 seats that went to Trump and now 85% chances of Biden to win. Minnesota, 10 seats went to Clinton, probably will be retained by, 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 by uh, Biden. And he has a 77.8% chance of winning. More after the break. Hello and welcome to the new trend of 2020.
These music glass covers are incredibly stylish and customizable. You can pick any song and cover image and we will curate a piece especially for you. They help make any empty space look beautiful and also make for amazing gift items for your friends and family. Visit our Instagram page to find out more and to order your own music glass covers now. We look forward to hearing from you and storing your favorite song in time and in a frame. Folks, welcome back to the game of We Chi. India continues to try and turn Myanmar as I showed you from, from it started with red, red to blue and it's going to try and get it to green. How do I say that? First report says India gives Myanmar a remdesivir drug talk security along border. The second report says to counter China, India offers Myanmar a 6 billion oil refinery. And Myanmar in turn says won't let Northeast rebels use our soil. Important as we turn this. Now let's go to the outer periphery, Afghanistan. Afghanistan critical for India. I have told you how it's critical. It's critical because it impacts on national security because it's at this point of time, China is also beside, uh, Pakistan is not the threat in Afghanistan. China is more so the threat. As it says, China calls on Afghanistan, Nepal and Pak to fortify ties. Then it says Beijing offers Taliban roads for peace. Deal, China ple pledges to invest in motorways, networks and energy as US withdraws. All the premises that are being made, all the assumptions are based on US troop withdrawal. However, what if, if that didn't happen, as Anju Gupta writes, staying on in Afghanistan, the geopolitical imperatives make it difficult for US to withdraw forces. The Afghan peace process hinges on the US securing its counter-terrorism interests and the Taliban and the government charting a roadmap to peace. The US-Taliban agreement stipulates an exit before May 2021 if conditions are met, which are not going to be met. Next it goes on to say, Unlike in Iraq and Syria, the U.S. has no bases in Central Asia or South Asia. The presence in Afghanistan, critical for counterterrorism, is also crucial for geopolitical imperatives. With China in Guadal and a hostile Iran, a credible presence is needed to secure much more than the safety of the embassy. Here, folks, India can play a role to make sure the U.S. troops stay there. And it's important and imperative for India for the U.S. troops to stay in Afghanistan. We need to also put our boots on the ground. Jai Hind! We believe in natural herbs and homemade remedies because the body deserves only purity. Think of natural products. Think of Sada Jeevan.